Hello and welcome friends. Today I would like to explain about the some important economic traits of uh, diversified species like quail, duck, turkey, geese, emu, ostrich and guinea fowl. So without wasting time, let's start for each diversified species. First we will discuss the important economic traits of Japanese quail. Do you know the Japanese quail is highly prolific in nature? It has very short generation interval. It requires very less space. It requires less feed as compared to other species. It is also resistant for many diseases as compared to other uh, species. The Japanese quail starts egg production at an age of 7th week and they produce the eggs up to 72 weeks of age. The average egg production in a laying cycle for Japanese quail is 310 eggs. Their egg size is very small, it is near about 10 gram only and the day old chick weight is only 8 gram. The adult body weight for male it is 140 to 150 gram and for female it is 160 to 180 gram of egg type quails. So here you can see the males are smaller than the females one. The incubation period of Japanese quail is 18 days and the daily feed consumption of the Japanese quail is 25 gram per day. The one more important feature of Japanese quail is that the specific color pattern eggs are produced by a specific female throughout the laying cycle. Meat type of Japanese quails are marketed at an age of 4 to 5 weeks and they weigh 200 to 210 gram and their feed efficiency is 2.4 to 2.6 with an livability of 85 to 90 percent. The next important diversified species is uh, turkey. The scientific name of turkey is Melagris gallopau. The turkey birds get sexually matured at an age of 30 weeks and they continue to produce the eggs up to 52 weeks of age. That is, the total egg production period is 24 weeks and they produce near about 80 to 100 eggs in a year. The average egg weight is 85 gram and the incubation period of turkey egg is 28 days. The average day old chick weight is 50 to 60 gram. Meat type of turkey birds are marketed at an age of 17 to 18 weeks. And uh, the male weighs 5 kg and the female weighs 3 to 4 kg within 17 to 18 weeks of marketable age. The total feed intake up to marketable age is for male it is 24 to 26 kg and for female it is 17 to 19 kg and the feed efficiency of broiler turkey is 2.7 to 2.8. The sex ratio in case of breeder turkey is 1 as to 5 and the hatchability is 50 to 55 percent. The hatchability in case of turkey is very less as compared to other species and the production of poles per hen is 50 to 60 poles. Okay, let's see about the other diversified species that is guinea fowl. The scientific name of guinea fowl is Numida miliagris. The age at sexual maturity for guinea fowl is 36 to 38 weeks and they produce 60 to 100 eggs in a season and the sex ratio during the breeding period is 1 as to 4 to 5. Guinea fowl weighs near about 500 to 560 gram at an age of 8 week and 950 to 1 kg at the age of 12th week. The egg weight is 50 gram and the incubation period is 28 days. The breeding season of uh, guinea fowl is March and September. The average fertility is 70 to 75 percent and average hatchability is 70 to 80 percent. The guinea fowl has the standard varieties like pearl, white and lavender. The next important species is duck. Its scientific name is Anas platyrhynchus. It starts egg production at an age of 28 weeks and it produces 200 to 280 eggs per year. The average egg weight is 72 gram and the incubation period of uh, duck is 28 days but the incubation period of Muscovy duck is 35 days. We can use 6 to 8 females per male during the breeding season in case of egg type of duck. In case of meat type of ducks, 
the marketing age for uh, white pekin is 6 weeks and for the shed ducks it is 12 weeks. Uh, the white pekin uh, ducks weighs 1.92 kg while the shed ducks weighs 1.2 kg. The feed efficiency for white pekin duck is 2.5 to 2.6 while for the shed duck it is very high that is 3 to 3.2. The livability for white pekin duck is 94 to 96 percent, while for desi duck it is 95 to 96 percent. The next one is uh, geese. The scientific name of uh, geese is Acer Ansel, and it has a lifespan of 20 years, but the breeding age is only 4 to 5 years. We can keep four females per single male during the breeding season and uh, their age at sexual maturity is more than 240 days in case of chinese goose the egg production is 30 to 50 eggs per year and in case of european goose the egg production is only 10 to 40 eggs per year the egg weight of uh, goose egg is 280 gram and the incubation period is 28 days the next one is emu the scientific name of emu is dromeo snowy hollandi it is originated from Australia and the average adult weight is 55 kg and height of adult emu is 1.75 meters. It is specifically reared for skin, meat, fat and feather purpose and the sex ratio is 1 as to 3 during the breeding season. It produces uh, 50 eggs per dam per year in a single season and a single dam in a year produces near about 30 chicks. The egg weight of emu is 700 to 800 gram and the chick weight at hatch is 450 gram. The incubation period of emu egg is 52 days and the shell color is dark green which you can, which you can see in the picture. Yeah, another diversified species that comes under the reptile family is an ostrich its scientific name is truthio camelus is originated in africa 2 to 40 years is the breedable age of ostrich and its age at sexual maturity is 2 years and it is most commonly reared for the purpose of skin meat and feathers the sex ratio in case of ostrich during the breeding season is 1 to 2 and it produces 80 hatching eggs per dam per year in a two seasons one dam produces 50 chicks yearly the egg weight is 1.5 kg and the chick weight at day old stage is 1 kg the incubation period of ostrich egg is 42 days so friends this is information about the some important economic traits of the different diversified species i hope you like this video if you find it is useful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.